everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness Up on Dev Let's Play. Well, we are back here in another episode of Awesomeness, and um, basically, since we have, as you guys can see, conquered Afghanistan and completed phase one of my plan, it is time for phase two. And I'm gonna give you guys a second to guess what phase two is. Okay? You got your guess? Good! You're probably very wrong because it was not I'm gonna go conquer Kalat. If you guess Kalat, conquer Sada, or any of these places over here, or conquer any of here, you are wrong. The next phase of my plan is I'm going straight after Persia. And probably you guys will guess a Psh, Persia? What? Uh, James, they are more powerful than you by their own. Like, let me just get out of the map mode so you guys can see. They are more powerful than you on their own. I mean, they have 21 military power, rank 20, compared to your uh, 29 military power, rank 13. That's not a very good estimates, and plus they also have two very powerful alliances with Bakura, who has 11 military power, and Coughlin, who has 8 military power, which, but you guys are thinking, that's not very much, because I've always seen gigantic armies of like 100 killing each other. Well, comparatively, Kajlit has 8 militaristic power, and let's see how powerful they are. They're already way more powerful than me, so basically we would be dealing with three almighty, all-powerful nations if we were to do this. But you know what? This is the plan. This is the next stage of the plan, and this is something we need to do. We need to start taking out Persia while they're still weak, while they still aren't in anyone's sphere, and while we still have a somewhat better chance than we do that. So that is our next goal. Phase 2 is to take out Persia. So, um... How am I going to do that? Well, for one, I'm going to get better allies, because while Kiva is a good ally, uh, they're going to get owned by Bakura in about a couple months, I guarantee it. They're just going to be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Bakura, oh yeah, just just come in my land, please, just just come in my land, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter, so, yeah, what I'm going to be trying to do is um, setting up some alliance with Khajiit, and, and Sada. That way I have a good, like, kind of ring around me and a good lower border. That way maybe we could, like, you know, use this army to go do stuff. So let me just do that right now because actually Sadat could still form an alliance with me. It's just the basic relentics to my military score is sad. So, uh, that kind of stinks sometimes when you're an uncivilized nation that just conquered another uncivilized nation that then everyone hates you right next to you. It, it's kind of a funny thing, so... Yeah, alright, so what else do we have to do is, um, now that we have done that and I've told you my plans, how am I also gonna, so this has probably seemed like a very over-the-top thing to do, and yes, it would be over-the-top thing to do, but I'm gonna do a couple things to help our chances in this time of great and utter relaxation, because I'm not gonna go to war for a very long time, because I'm not stupid, I'm not gonna go to war with Persia right now, that would be just dumb. So what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to go to world political, eh, political politics, Politics, everyone. It's a hard word to pronounce. And go to militaristic constructions because what we need to start doing is, and do that is what we need to start doing is we need two things from this right now. We need the uh, uh, effect that we can build forts, and we need the effect that our research points will be doubled when we do conquerings. Which, as you can see, we already got the other two modifiers, and we only need one more modifier to get a hundred percent like war score modifier. And with that, this will help us propel us into a. Uh, Greatness and great modifying because then from there we could probably just you know lightning through all of these Which is kind of my plan if you really must know and we really don't we have strong ships designs in the west Well these Yeah, really do, the rest of them aren't really that important, but this one's really important So what we're instantly gonna start doing is oh come on. What do I need? Okay, uh, I have all that. Can I please build this? Uh, okay, can I build it over here? Over here, over here, over here. Okay, I'm gonna... Maybe I have to unpause it first. You know. No, it's still not letting me build. Okay, that's... A little bit mad. Makes me a little bit mad. Because now I'm gonna have to do do a different thing. But anyways. um, Basically over here we have a... The units... Are they getting even supplied? I should look at this. So let's see, uh, not conquest, administrate, no, I need supply mode, because I, I don't usually use this, but actually I do need supply limit, okay. Wow, we have a lot of good supply limit, this is kind of nice, like, usually we, it's all red when I'm like a big, gigantic, evil country over there, 
the evil west. Um, but wow, we actually have a good amount of green. We just, oh, you know, it got my hopes up. That got my hopes up, but wow. Okay, so you guys move over there, and I'm gonna zoom back out so I can actually, yeah. That that made me feel so happy for saying it, and then it kind of just dashed my hopes. So what I'm gonna, what we're gonna have to do in the next coming months is we're gonna have to get our military back up to speed. Or back up to par because right now it's a basically sitting duck for defensiveness and which you know would be okay if the fact wasn't that uh, we needed to be on par why can't I build this uh, money wise oh it costs 12,000 to build a fort that's why okay all right then we can definitely start saving up for that all right and so these guys are healing all right so you have 30k in this hmm. Honestly, should I spend more money on upgrading? Okay, yeah, you guys are way too much, so I'm just going to divide you. Okay, who keeps installing this bat? No, this is actually the good commander, sorry. We have the other good commander. We do have both good commanders. These guys are great commanders because we're going to need them in the coming future. All right. And I am moving my army in a more... If they make 30, that'd be nice. Dang. I thought they were going to make 30. I was like, yay, no. Okay, so we have both of these guys healing up now. Which is good, they have no nutrition, which is really good. Alright, but what we need to start doing is um, checking on our national focus. I encourage clergymen. Is that at maximum 2.0? No, we fell down by a lot. Yeah, we need to... I'm going to keep clergymen up. And I bet you guys are thinking, why? Well, because we still need lots of clergymen. And this is this is where our main literacy and optimal things are going in. This is why I keep like keep our oh shoot I've completely forgot about education oh yeah now we have to increase education now that I'm done trying to fight with the military wow we have very little militaristic spending yeah our economy is gonna collapse at some point I already have a feeling this is just this is just like the prequel to this just our economy collapsing I've taxed my people to the very most and we can't even support ourselves hmm. great economy James great economy but it, it has to be done. It has to be done. I'm, I'm sorry, but we are a very poor nation. Okay, let me just go like to 51. Can I manage that? Okay. 51 I can manage. That's actually not bad. We can manage 51. 51 is something that is reasonable enough to where it's going to go up by one. But it's also good enough to where we can just go do stuff. Okay. So right now we have a kind of idly by army, but let's see. How much would this take to actually get in lines for you guys? 46, so that means, yeah, we could definitely get alliance with them. Khalid, how much would it take to get you an alliance? Okay, so let me start increasing relationships with both of these guys so that we can, you know, we want this alliance. That's definitely what we want. We want this alliance so that when the war, when we actually do go to war against uh, Persia, and plus it's also going to burn infamy, so that's also what we need. When we go to war against Persia, we're going to need to take as much land as possible because they're probably only going to get like maybe two or three wars before um, they come right back at us with an even more power army. And you can see, that is just probably one of the, I'm guessing they have four death stacks in total in here. And all four of those death stacks could probably easily take me on, so we have to be very mindful of that. So let's see, let's see, okay, yeah, we could definitely, it'd probably take me a long time to do all this but it's definitely worth it to like start investing into this and 12 12.0 okay okay like you're almost ready to expand this factory which I'm so gonna be happy for because like I said we need to um we need to make sure that this entire area is at least defended by something and but you got and yes factories I mean not factories um um, forts are going to be really quite cheap if you think about it because they really will, I have so much time to like burn right now that I won't really need to like, you know, we concentrate on forts completely. So let me just, um, let me just wait till we have a good amount of surplus money. Okay. And should I build it here or here? Uh, let's see what would be a better place. I think right here would be a, a slightly better place to build that. And now you can see our economy just kind of went to, uh, Base, but let me just slightly increase it right there so that we have some administration doing stuff I'm not sure if it would actually be a lot and really this is I'm surprised that this is I I'm only supporting this by like 20% It's actually supporting everything that's really awesome and so yeah now we just kind of wait here and oh shoot we have more men okay you guys go over here to these guys I'm guessing they only have enough horsemen 
Okay, how about you guys? No, you guys have enough horsemen too. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess I could probably keep two armies. I, I don't see a problem with that. Um, let me see. Do I have any more recruits? No. Uh, yes, I do. I have, like, a couple more Pinev soldiers being made. You have one... Yeah, about one Pinev soldier being made. That's going to be an intensive process, I gotta admit. But, you know, we have to increase our military military supply work harder or work smart well actually work harder would be much better for our country because we aren't really we don't really have that many high intellectual um money makers we, we mostly tax everyone to the utmost of possibility so yeah that that'd be the best all right and but you guys are also wondering why did i not choose to conquer sid or saya bakur or khalid i if i if i if these guys basically would declare war on me at the same time and I don't need to be in fighting both of these guys and then maybe have Bakur and all them doing this. I need to eliminate the Persian threat while I still have a chance before I start, you know, teaming up with other people, you know, taking out other people. And speaking of which, what region am I going to take? Well, this also contributes to the fact I'm probably going to be in this very long. I'm planning on being in this war for very long, so I'm planning on taking as many of these. I'm planning on taking at least three of these regions right about here. And then maybe a fourth, if I can manage it. Maybe I might release a nation, but I highly, highly doubt it. Highly, 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 highly doubt it. I mean, I could release this nation, which... <laughs> it may seem like I'd really care about what happened to them, Le. But honestly, Le, it, it doesn't seem that important of a promise. Where it would be Le? And I could probably just... Yeah, right, right back here. This would not be that important of a province to be honest with you to lose. I mean, it has nothing, it has the Mafia in it, I mean, this would be a terrible province. Yeah, I mean, this is just like, le. <laughs> it's exactly my mood! Le. Okay, so, um, what we have to do is, now that I'm starting to think about, okay, so yeah, we're increasing our relationships, let's get Kali a little bit higher. I think I might get Kali as our first alliance, because I think they have a slightly better score than, no, they're about the same, so, we have a 15 and 12, 15 and 12, um, 27, 6, mm. I'm, I'm sorry, Matt, sorry, people, I'm just doing the math here, how much this would cost, so, 15, oh, sorry, because uncivilized nations are about the same in terms of power, that means, you know, there won't be some kind of gigantic, you know, difference in, like, you know, when you're playing as, like, uh, Spain versus an uncivilized nation, there is not a big difference, and I'm gonna go find it end for one quick second and I'll be right back and I'll probably leave the game on in that time so you'll probably come back at a different point so be right back okay we are back here and yeah it took uh, I went all the way to the end of the year because that was apparently when I found a pen so let me see let me do the math no actually we can keep it uh, okay it seems like somebody is messaging me right now um, Oh, man, I really should turn off my Skype at this point. Okay, I'm gonna tell him um, I'm recording right now. Okay, there we go. I hope he gets a message by not messaging me again, because that's gonna annoy me. It really is. And let me see. So we have our army over here, which I will, since it has enough people, I can dismantle the unused brigades. Because that's what, we need to start killing off these, like, unmanned brigades. We need to make sure that all manned brigades are right here. Okay. Now that we're in 30, dang it. Well, how much are they? 23. Okay, so, technically speaking, we have a bigger army than Persia. But that, technically, always gets you killed. Okay. So let's see. Okay, actually, we can keep the game going while I do the math. Okay. So, Peneb, my army... And Jeb has approximately, let's see, 24, 24, 48,000 troops. 48,000. That's my army. Okay. If I can get Kali on my side, which I probably will. I'll get one of these guys on my side. Okay. This man is clearly dangerous. Imprison him. All right. Kali, um, he's going to, he has 15 plus 12 equals 27,000. Wow, we could t easily take these guys on if we really had to. 27,000. Um, and if I can, I might get Sinjeb. Sinjeb. Okay. And yes, I'm calling him Sinjeb because 
we do that. And no, I have not forgotten about the betrayal of me. And they probably have 27,000 troops as well because they're exactly the same military score as them. So 27,000. So in total, the total alliances, if I made this... Oh, wait, wait. We can't forget also our other alliance, which is Kiva. Kiva... I don't expect them to all join in, though. That's the only thing. I know they're not going to all join in. So 18,000. Okay, 18,000. And are they 8? Huh. I guess 8 is between 18 and 27,000. Well, I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to give Cochlin the most amount of armies it can get. And that is a really stupid name, by the way, Cochlin. Just just too many just I, I know I'm not like those type of people who would abuse that but that just seems like a terrible name for for a nation I don't know I don't know okay so um, now we got the Persian Alliance so we have Persia who I'm assuming um, it may say I have more a better army than they do I I don't believe that I honestly don't believe I have a better army than they do so I'm gonna assume that they have about as much as me I'm going to say 50,000, 50k. They have 50k soldiers. So 50k, um, fight the disease, with everything we need. We don't need a population decrease. That always happens in one of my Let's Plays. I always have some stupid flu that kills off all my people. And then I'm like, ah, come on. Okay, Cockland. Um, let's see. It's, no, it's 10. So that means it's stronger than this and it's stronger than, uh, you guys ate. Dang, you guys are 8. So that means these guys are even stronger than I thought. Okay, they're not as strong as 13, so they don't have as much as these guys. So I'm going to assume these guys have like 30k. So Cochlin has like 30k. This isn't looking so good for numbers. 30k. And then, um, Bakura, we can clearly see all of its soldiers. I'm doubting it has any more in the background. Uh, Bakura. Bakura has... Um, 33,000? Okay, so, if everyone wants, if everyone kept their own pen and stuff and decided to write all those numbers down, you'll probably get the same numbers that I do, so, let's see. Our total amount, because I bet that's what everyone wants, is what, how much army power or manpower would we potentially have if we had all three of these guys join in? Well, carry the zeros, of course, okay. Ah, math, I hate this. 16, 14, 30. 0, 3, okay, 4, 8, 10, 12, okay, apparently by my estimates, we were in total with all these guys, like with these guys, these guys, and these guys in total in our army, we would have 120,000, 120k, that's a lot, oh, never mind, oh, dang it, oh, oh dang it, uh, you guys are probably wondering, why was I saying dang it? Well, I just noticed that the Persians were at war with the, uh, Russians. Wait, are they still at war with the Russians? No. Dang. They were at war with the Russians, and that would have been a very good opportunity for me to just go at war, because then I could just probably just walk in and be, and be really cool anyways. Okay, so, missed opportunity there, everyone, missed opportunity, so. That is our total number of troops that we could potentially raise during this war is 120k. The Persians can potentially raise 300, zero, zero, and I gave them a good amount of numbers, a good estimates. So this should be accurate. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, wow, that's going to be really close. So if you guys want to hear the total amount, the Persians have 113k, so 113k. So, in actuality, we are like dead even if I get these guys with us. If we do not get these guys with in my alliance, at least one of them, then this could potentially be a very, very unstable game. Which then we could possibly lose, and that's something we don't want to do. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, so this is going to be a very, very tough war. Where everyone's going to say this is going to be a very, very tough war. If we, um, if we don't get this right we're probably gonna die <laughs> like there, there is no like in between here we probably will die if I do not get this right and um yeah that's kind of scary this this could potentially ruin the entire campaign and how much okay you guys are finally making an alliance that's good that means okay so Kali is now an alliance with me let's see now I just need to start working on Siddha because Siddha is our next our next alliance because we need them in our alliance sphere Cause yes, it may seem like, and oh, that's even a different problem. I didn't realize we'd have to organize our entire armies to fight, which I'm not sure these guys would really want to do. 
Especially if, if I'm gonna be conquering them later. Oh my goodness, this is... This is gonna be an interesting war, I'm, I'm guaranteeing not. And I have like one fort, and it's gonna be built right there in Helet. Or Hallet. Or whatever that's called. So let me see, how's that doing by the way? It's almost done, wow. Good job people for being very diligent in building forts. I'm very happy with my people for doing that. I thought we weren't building it, to be honest with you. I was like, gonna be like, really like, oh. I mean, take me another three years to do that, but seems like we're being very diligent, so. Um, once again, another uh, diplomatic point, so we'll be start, we we'll start working on another ally of Sada. Will they actually, oh, they'll accept the alliance right now. Okay, yes! Okay, so right now we have, okay, so let's see, they have 21,000 troops. So let's see, was that about what I estimated? No, that was less than I estimated. I estimated 27,000 for them. They actually only had 21,000. So, actually, this, uh, um, guys, we have 112 at the maximum uh, amount of soldiers we can raise. And they have probably more than us. That's a little bit scary right there. Um, militaristic power. Okay, I'm going to have to check out. Okay, yeah, we we apparently have more. I think it's because the Russians just defeated them. Okay, and uh, Infamy is pretty much dead now. Yeah, it's time. It's time. Can I do this? Can I... Can I win a war against... Persia? Well, this is gonna be a pretty... L it's either gonna be... This episode's either gonna be divided... Or it's going to be divided into three parts. Or it's not going to be divided. Those are the three options right now. Hopefully it won't be divided, but I really don't know. I'm going to have to check to see how long it is and... Okay, are we doing good on clergy, by the way? Yeah, we are almost there. Oh, we are so close to getting that 2.0 optimal clergy membership because that's what we really need right now. Let me see. Are there any reforms I could do, by the way? Legislative, whatever. I don't really care about Afghanistan. They're just, they're just people I conquered. That's all. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Fight the disease with everything we got. Oh, but I hate that. I hate that event so much. It's like the, I think it's one of the worst events for like little tiny nations. And if you have less than like 20 people, you will just, uh, you will feel that event. You will just literally feel that event because it bleeds you dry because you have no people. Like, I remember playing as Serbia one time, doing one of my pastime uh, in-between Let's Plays while I was bored. And literally, I most my population was about 500k strong. It went down to about 100k by the end of the flu season. And literally, I could not do anything because my population was already pathetic from the beginning. So it was just like, oh uh, shoot. So I just had to restart over. And a funny thing enough, it happened again. This time though, I kind of cheated and just like, I gave myself the region of Serbia down here so that I have more population. But Eventually, the, the flu almost nearly wiped out my entire, the entire Serbian race, which was sad to an extent, but it just, just really sad in fact I almost did that. So, we have our first fort ever built, Fort, okay, what should we name the fort, guys? Fort, mm, not Harriet, Harriet would not be a good name. How about Fort Harry? That's a good, that's a good strong name there, Fort Harry. Okay, so, um, now that we got Fort Harry built... We should, I must move a good amount of men to go guard Fort Harry. And, um, legislative means, okay, so now since we've had a good amount of time, actually we do need to wait a little bit longer, I bet you guys are wondering why. Well, just in case we do get war score from all this, which is going to take a really good amount of luck, um, we're going to need to make sure that we have enough diplomatic points to actually go to war, because we really don't. We really don't want to be in like a situation where we have we have like completely 100%ed Persia and everyone, but yet we cannot destroy them because um, we don't have enough diplomatic points. So I'm gonna wait until our diplomatic points are at least up to nine, and I know it's gonna take a really long time, but it's gonna be worth it in the end because you know what? In the end, we'll have enough to do all this stuff, and I'm really hoping the the uh, British do not take an interest in our little. Saidal friends because they're not going to be needed in the coming war that I'm going to need to orchestrate for my own benefits. And uh, Bakura's army has apparently moved. I really wish, I, at this point I really wish Russia would just come in and take over these guys. But then again then I'd have to worry about them also taking over me which is not necessarily part of the plan. I, I will tell you that off the bat. 
And if you guys are wondering why I did this, why I put a fort right there and it really does seem like a stupid position. Well the reason why is because if you guys look at this, this place is already like uh, really really hard to conquer as it is. I mean look at me, I'm, I'm getting nutrition and this is my own land. So, for some other nation to conquer it, they will gain extreme amounts of nutrition, which is what we want. That's basically what we're going to use. We're going to use the same kind of strategy of nutrition value to kill all the rest of them. And now I will not destroy any more of my men because I actually do need this. I actually do need them because it's too close to time. Um, we have our economy starting to collapse because I've probably been taxing my people too long. But, yeah, just, just, lower, just lower administration power. Hmm. That's not helping us at all. Okay, lower this. I'm probably I'm probably gonna go into bankruptcy. I already know it when I go to war with Persia. But it's just it's just something that's gonna have to happen. It's just something that's gonna have to happen. So, um hmm. We aren't really doing anything right about now, but I really don't feel like this would be a good time for a time skip. Like, I don't feel like this is really a good time for a time skip. It's not I'm, there's still stuff happening. I mean America is, you know, being America and conquering all of Texas. Uh, most of the UK and I feel so bad for Mexico. Does Mexico have an alliance with? No, they do not have an alliance with the United States. So they will probably be taking over in the next couple weeks. Um, Europe is just basically the same old Europe. Really nothing's changed. Um, Prussia hasn't really united itself yet with some cheap BS. Which I think the new BS system is BS. <laughs> I don't like how Prussia, Prussia just automatically formed in 1881. Even with all your hard efforts to make sure that they don't form. They form. I, I don't like that anymore. That doesn't seem like a fair system, especially if you've been working the entire game to try to do that. It's just, it's just not a fair system. And England is definitely not really wanting to fight us right now, which is a good idea, but could we fight against England if they actually did declare a war on us? No. Not in the slightest. We would be trampled. And I mean, I'm, I'm kidding you not. We'd be probably trampled by the great British might. There'd be basically nothing we could do. Like, legitly nothing. I, I could try like some tactics but really we, we would just be swarmed over and just beaten up at that point maybe I'd have to like restart the game because it'd be just so bad <sighs> which is something I know you guys would not want to see but it's just one of those things like it, it's just one of those things that's just gonna happen and apparently if I keep my troops right over here in uh, this really well supplied area which is the only well supplied area in my entire region so no that's political parties I don't care about that See, like, this is the, these are the only two well-supplied regions. It actually goes up in money, which is what we need. Okay, yeah, it's going way up in money. So, I guess we have to keep our people in really good projected supply areas that actually help us out. Maybe that's the reason why we need, like, this kind of stuff. Um, so, this has a base of 8, 8, 16, 40. Yeah, these are way better. These are just way better in terms of us. Um, if they, if Bakura could, like, invade just right about here... Wait, yeah, right about here. If Persia could just invade right about here, oh my goodness, we'd have such a good day. I mean, these are like perfect places. And do I expect, so I'm going to have to start planning a big, gigantic, like, front here. Um, I might not even, like, do a map specifically how to do this because this is something that is probably going to be free phased. Like, I'm just going to do this by my own lonesome self. Okay, so let's see. It would take about one, one to do that. Actually, we have enough diplomatic points at this point to do what we want to, so um, I'm going to start gaining Kaz's belly. And I feel like this episode is a little bit too long, and I know I hate to say this, but I am going to have to divide the episode, so thank you guys for watching this episode. It was great having you guys. Hope you guys are excited to see this Persian me versus versus army and just like the evenness, and this, this is going to be a very hard battle. So thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.